Friends, welcome to my hospital at Rana Ghat, India. In this video, you are going to see fecal emulsification of an intumescent cataract. This is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus. You can see oozing of blood from the incision. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision, very small side port. And this is another small side port on the right side of the main incision. This is an air bubble. The plan is to stain the capsule underneath this air bubble. And here goes the dye. Trypan Blue 0.06% dye is spread all over the anterior capsule. And at the end, a concentrated amount is placed over the capsule. This is a bit of adrenaline. You can see that the people has dilated but not fully so adrenaline may help in keeping the people dilated and adrenaline has caused you can see the white rim around it means that adrenaline has caused some more amount of dilatation this is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose yes not sodium hyaluronate it is HPMC hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and see how you can do rexis using only SPMC. Here it is. Just make a small C flap at the anterior pole and you can see that white fluid comes out indicating high intralenticular pressure. And this C flap is converted into a small rexis immediately. And now through this small opening some cortical lens matter is aspirated using a Simco cannula. This is a 23 gauze Simco cannula. You can use bimanual IA or coaxial IA for aspiration of some amount of cortical matter. This is enough. Now, SPMC is injected again. Since the intralenticular pressure has been reduced this cataract will behave totally differently now small nick is made at the margin of the rexis the tag is held with the uterida forceps again and now the rexis the mini rexis is enlarged into an optimum sized rexis of say 5.25 millimeter that's it. The rexis is completed. And now, in intumescent cataracts, we know hydrodissection is not required. Little weight of viscoelastic substance has been injected. And now, I'm going into the anterior chamber with the tip of the FACO handpiece. This is Oatly Cataract 3 FACO machine. And my plan is to do direct job. So what I do is I bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus and hold the nucleus very firmly and chop it. There are two air bubbles. The nucleus is rotated and it is chopped at another place. And then it is rotated again. And the other hemineucleus is held with vacuum and it is also chopped. The rest of the nucleus management is going uh, to be edited a bit to shorten the length of the video. The FECO power being used in this case is 65 to 70 percent. Fluoride is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. So after managing the nucleus, the cortex is to be removed. Little bit of visco is injected 
And now, a Simco cannula is being used for removal of the cortex, which is inferiorly located. In this case, my plan is to use bimanual irrigation aspiration for removal of the subincisional cortical matter. Since the side ports are small, we cannot use a Simco cannula. And here it is. The irrigation is through the left side port and through the right side port. The aspirating probe is aspirating the cortical matter from the soft incisional area. Now the probes are changed. Now aspiration is through the left side port and irrigation is through the right side port and the cortical matter is removed. That's it. After thorough removal of the cortex, this is a foldable intraocular lens being implanted in the capsula bag. The irrigating probe can place the lens in the bag since the hook is usually not required. And we can see that the intraocular lens is nicely overlapped. Optic of the intraocular lens is nicely overlapped by the anterior capsular rim, which means the rexis size is ideal. Now the side ports are hydrated to close these wounds. My experience is the smaller side ports needs more hydration than larger side ports. The smaller side ports are stressed and there is some amount of fish mouthing and we have to hydrate these side ports. We have to hydrate a lot if the side ports are small. If it is little large, hydration required is less. Now after a thorough lavage of the entire chamber, the side ports are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in managing your intermittent cataracts.